Hi, this is Julia Whitup, and we're talking about shamanism today with uh, traveling shaman Norm Wilson. He's going to talk to us about some protection rituals, and I'm going to throw in a couple I know. So take it away, Norm. Okay, thank you, everyone, for uh, stopping by. You know, people often ask, what can I do to protect myself or my family or my home from bad things? And I'm not going to say evil, but I'll just say bad things from the happening. There are several things, and I, sound is one of my favorite things besides uh, essential oils and things from the earth, such as salts. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to begin with a couple of little things that you can do uh, if you feel that there's a problem in your house, you can use a small drum. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's it. Go from room to room and just a steady, banana speed. I have a big drum too, but that's an easy, easy one to do. And drumming sometimes gets rid of evil spirits, ugly spirits, whatever you want to call them, out of the house, bad vibrations. Rattles. Oh, really? Okay. And these were made for me by Native Americans. Cool. I'm not a Native American. Uh, you can use a feather for wafting uh, sages, uh, Palo Santo. Uh, and you go room, room to wafting it around like that. And uh, I think I talked about sages once before, and my favorite is White Mountain Sage. Mm -hmm. And I used to have a friend who'd go and pick it for me fresh. Nice. But, well, unfortunately, he has passed away now. And so I now use a commercial brand. That's just fine. Uh, the other thing I have to do is make sounds is chopsticks. Okay. Don't, don't forget going to the bathrooms. If you have a shower stall, shower, stick your in. Okay, because things pop around like that all over the place. Uh, there's another kind of rattle that I use. This was also made for me by a Native American. Nice sound. Mm -hmm. So you can do that. No, uh, that's sound. What else can you use? Voice, of course. Uh, you can do humming, etc. those kinds of things. Then what about uh, other things you could use? Wait, wait, what about humming? What do you hum? Humming? Just hum. Hum, or say like om. Yeah, om is fine. Uh -huh. uh, that's a very old uh, Tibetan sound uh, that they use for most uh -huh. rituals. Uh, we do om every day with yoga. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's say now you have uh, things that are not good and you're not sure exactly where they are, where they are. And I use a little thing here, and I think I did once before. I'm getting in my little toolbox. Cool. Yeah. Okay, so unless you can't be sure what's really going on. So what I did is I make a little, this is, was a coat hanger. Uh huh. And it's a metal piece of straw. Okay, uh -huh. so I put that in there. So I do this particularly with my clients. I'm detecting, detecting their energy level. And if this stops, that means there's a problem. Oh. So you now you can do this in your house. You go around from room to room, and wherever it stops, there is an energy drain. Uh, maybe you want to call it uh, a spirit hiding in a closet. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. that gives you an idea of what to do, of where to go. So, okay, you're still you're there. Then the time now, maybe you go ahead and burn the sages. I'm, I'm pushing it on for a bundle. It'll take me a minute to find it. Well, I guess I have it in a, another box. Uh, you can also burn copal. Uh-huh. 
Okay, uh, and then a little incense burner, like that kind of thing. Set your sage on fire and walk through uh, the rooms uh, and go slowly with it. And you can uh, put it in an incense burner if you want, or just hold the bundle up. If you're using an incense burner, we waft it. Uh, by the way, if you have a person who's sick, do that. Take, uh, put some in a bowl, light it, and go up and down the person all the way around it. Mm -hmm. Okay, now when Suzanne was fighting her cancer, uh, we had a, another shaman come, and they did that. She did that. Begin with wafting sage this time. It was, was sage all around her, over and over again. For purification. So that's one thing that can protect you. The other one is to hang a uh, brow of uh, Palo Santo outside your door, or tack it on your door of your home. Uh, also, um, there's another one, I believe it's a white birch you can use to do that on your door. Uh, you can also paint a symbol on your door, a piece. Oh, cool. That kind of thing. Um, so it depends on what kind of protection you're talking about. Do you have a thing in mind? Um, I like the ones that cover the whole house. Those are good. Yes, that's good. Or uh, property. Yeah. The thing that you can do in terms of your whole house, and this is a relatively easy one to do, is to take rock salt and put a little row of it all the way around your house, on the base of your house, the foundation. Mm -hmm. And that will ward off that. Uh, you can set little uh, jars or little lids, uh, just a can lid, a jar lid in a closet uh, beside the, the, the sink in the bathroom. With salt in it. Mm -hmm. um, rock salt um, or sea salt, if you want to call it. Sea salt, excuse me. Uh, okay. Salt in the rooms. You can also use um, baking soda. Uh, then put that around uh, in little places and leave it there. Oh, maybe a good month, maybe a month and a half, and then refresh it. Uh, okay. So that, those are normal things. And now uh, some of the essential oils uh, you can use in diffusers, uh, of course, will be lavender. Uh, you can buy a lavender incense sticks to can burn also. They're a good one. We use a lot of incense in my home. Uh, you can use frankincense. That's the one I use. Mm -hmm. Patchouli, patchouli, uh, amber. Uh, frankincense is always a good one. You can use also diffusers uh, besides burning those incense. You can use them in diffusers. Um, <clears throat> we use diffusers a lot. Uh, we use them for uh, memory. Uh, but essential oils, essential oils from snoring if people have <laughs> Like me. Okay, so that's a, a general venue of what you can do. Um, I guess I think I told you the story that uh, just a short distance from here, we had a murder. And so the people who bought the house uh, asked me to come and do a purging of the house, a purifying of the house, and get rid of the spirit that was there of the person who had been murdered. It was an mm -hmm. interesting experience. And I used white sage. And I saged every room, nook and corner, even the garage this huge house uh, and finally the people felt comfortable but whether uh, you know it was just their thinking or not it doesn't make a difference what makes the difference is the comfort level of the people there living there so but I well, yeah yeah that's um, one of the things they've discovered about the placebo effect mm -hmm, yeah what your mind what your mind can do a lot of things you don't realize. Yeah. And in several of my books, I point that out. Okay, so it is possible. So what? 
if it works, you use it. If it makes you feel better. Yeah, exactly. But we're not in a statistical study to prove something one way or another. Uh, that's not the game plan. The game plan is to bring comfort level. Yes. And uh, we are a great believer in using the essential oils and the, the herbs. Uh, nothing wrong with burning a little smudge pot. Okay. Uh, cedar is another good one, by the way, uh, to use for protection. Um, Juniper? Mm hmm. Cedar. You can also wear a little pouch around your neck. You know. Um, ah, okay. Here we go. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Oops. <laughs> there. Oh, okay. And and that's kind of a little fancy one, but it has a little zipper on. Now you can put various uh, things in there, such as uh, sage, Palo Santo. Uh, you can put, uh, oh, any number of the dry ingredients in there and wear that on your neck. Stick it under your pillow at night. Uh, put some by your bedstand uh, in your office where you work. <laughs> I have them all over the place uh, and kind of things. Crystals, another one, just put some around. Uh, amethyst crystals are a good powerful one. Uh, clear quartz are good for bringing out uh, and getting rid of things in your house. Okay. Maybe we could write a little article for the newsletter about this. Well, probably. That'd be kind of nice. Yeah, well, let me know when you need it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Clear quartz crystals. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, I have a new one here. Let me see if I can just reach up and get it. But I, yes. Okay. Uh, I have to tell you the truth about this. <laughs> This is called Terra Hertz. Terra Hertz. Hertz. Ooh, it's pretty. Terra. Yeah. Now, this is man-made. Uh-huh. Okay. But it is considered the most powerful crystal in the world. Very uh -huh. high, very high resolution, very high Hertz. Uh -huh. Okay, and it's great to have around the house. Could you type that into the chat? How to spell it? I don't know it. whether I can type it in there or not. I'm you, not. you don't know if you. I'm not that adept. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I can. Maybe you it. can put it in the article when you write the I article. I can send it to you. The name of it. It's okay. Terra or Terra. Terra. T -R -A uh huh. H e r t z. Terra oh. one thousand. Okay. Okay, and Hertz, is, of course, is uh, vibrations per second. Yeah. So this is this is one of my favorite ones. Um, I have them all over, little ones all over the place. Uh, well, here's another kind of thing you can use. Uh, I don't know whether you can see this or not. Uh, can you see that? It's not. It's fuzzy. Okay, it's fuzzy. Well, anyway, that's amethyst in a little bottle. Oh, that's amethyst okay. chips. You can get amethyst chips. Oh gosh, a whole bag full for a few dollars. Cool. Put those in, in, but I think you can probably get quartz, put quartz in uh, several other ones, uh, and put them in a little dish around to help uh, purify the place and clean it up, protect you. Uh, Trying to think of something else that would be that people can use without getting totally involved in all the the details about it. Mm -hmm. like as simple as possible. Um, let me see something here. Um, uh, suppose you I have are prone to being sick a lot. You need to protect your immune system. Mm hmm. One of the things you probably have in your spice cupboard and don't pay too much it is turmeric. Turmeric, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and you use that uh, 
two to three drops uh, of the essential oil in a diffuser. Uh, lessen coughing uh, and uh, sniffing and colds. Uh, it helps with the respiratory issues and helps build the immune system. That's another way of protecting yourself. Uh, I don't know whether that's a value or not. Uh, you can um, use yeah, it is. Ginger is another one that you keep in your cupboard. And you can use ginger essential oil. Uh, I know a lot of people are have uh, a lot of people are having trouble with long COVID. Yes, so, they, so that will help. You know, yeah. Um, as folks get older, they have a way of expelling gas. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the cute. Okay. So I have an essential oil for helping you with flatulence. What's that? And so uh, you can take it in about, it's called Angelica root. Oh, yeah, I've heard of that. And, uh, yes. Uh, three to five drops. Uh, and uh, castor oil. Uh, Apply that to lower abdomen. Lower abdomen. Yes, be sure you use uh, uh, not more than three to five drops of the root. Yeah, I was using a whole bunch of castor oil and I started itching all over. Yeah, too much, too much. And too so much. no more than a tablespoonful. Okay. And then you just put that on your lower abdomen. Uh, And that both of those are for flatulence. Mm -hmm. Yes, they mix them okay. together. It makes the mix them together. Okay. Um, oh, the angelica root and the castor oil. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, that's good. I'm making notes because I need some of these things. <laughs> uh, well, they're good. They work. Um, you have varicose veins? <laughs> I don't seem to have those. Thank I do. God. Yeah, well, I do. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Okay. Um, what do you do for varicose veins? Oh, I have several recipes of essential oil. And I will send those to you if you want, but I'm not going to talk about them right now, I guess. Or can you put um, them in that article when you write it? Maybe. How about vertigo? Vertigo. Yeah. I don't have it, but I have a friend who does. Mm -hmm. uh, so it, maybe an essential oil will be there to help protect you. That's what we're talking about. Uh, Okay, ginger essential oil is a good one in a, in a diffuser. Uh, five drops to two ounces of a carrier oil. That's, uh, oh, it can be sweet almond oil, olive oil, uh, jojoba. Coconut. Uh, you, could, you could put it on ginger. Mm -hmm. uh, cypress essential oil is also good for that. Where to go? Oh, okay. mm -hmm. What they do is they increase blood flow and uh, works around quite nicely with that. And basil essential oil. For vertigo. Yeah, you place that still for a vertigo. Place it in your diffuser. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, you can make a little uh, inhaler with eucalyptus oil. That's an oldie eucalyptus. Uh, Wow. Can you hear the train outside? No. He blows his horn all the way through our little town. Oh, really? Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. Well, 
uh, the nearest train in front of us is about nine miles away. Oh, you don't hear it then. Well, not, depending on the weather, we do. You'll hear. Oh, the really? Boom, 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 boom. But what we have here are high-powered jets. Oh. The big mm -hmm. war jets. You know, they have, we have a very large air force based on a neighboring island. Oh. And they're constantly taking off and landing and practicing. Oh yeah, so yeah. Some days they come a little low. We think. <laughs> <laughs> that would be yeah, scary. Yeah. So, you know, they it's say it's the sound of freedom. So, <laughs> that kind of thing. Okay, so you know, you were going to talk about some things you could do on the outside of your house to ward well, off. Uh, to get the the one I'm thinking of was on the inside. This okay. thing I read said you could stop spirits at the doors. If you went around to the doors and drew, even with water, but just drew a star with the point pointing outwards towards them mm -hmm. in front of each door. Yes. Okay. Or you can draw a circle. A circle? Mm -hmm. Okay. Either one. And it can be just with water. That's okay. Right. It doesn't have to be with an oil or with a paint. <laughs> but okay. even with the water, it'll <laughs> stop it. <laughs> yeah. So no, no, that's a good one. Uh, hanging sage on the outside the door. I have one of those um, tie, tie, I think it's a tie flying mermaid that you mm -hmm. point them towards the door and they, mm -hmm. they're they supposed to protect your house towards for demons. Sure, yes. So. And so I have one by the front door. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get one for every door. Why not? Yeah, they're kind of cool uh, looking anyway. Yeah, I think that well, yes, they're nice. They're, they're interesting <laughs> to begin with, but uh, spray those with a little essential oil. That's a great idea. I'll do you that. You know, particularly lavender for refreshing uh, one of your favorites. Uh, any one of those. I use a lot of lavender, but there's a whole bunch of oils that you could use that, that you could get a little spray on there. Mm -hmm. Cool. And what about rose oil? Oh, rose oils, yes. Now you're talking rose oil as opposed to roses oil or rose what's oil. The, what's the difference? There's rose geranium oh, too. Yeah. I don't... Well, rose oil is very expensive. I know. It's the most expensive oils in the world. Uh, it's just, ooh, yes. And I, I, I have some in a little over here. Um, Hundred dollars worth, probably. <laughs> Little tiny bottle. Mm -hmm. It's hiding behind the amethyst I just showed you. Now that is a tiny bottle. That's probably way expensive, That's like so seventy-five. Know, that, that, well, it also depends on where you get it. Ah. Oh. And I and I I preach this and. I'm not putting down local aromatherapists. I am a certified aromatherapist, by the way. Oh. Uh, okay. Yeah, I am cognizant of the fact, just as any farmer can tell you, the way a vegetable or a fruit grows depends upon the soil. Mm -hmm. The same way with anything else that grows in the earth. So right. depending on the nature of the soil, depends on the strength or the power of the uh, product that you want, like that, for example. Uh, Brazil, some things are very good from Brazil, other things are wonderful from France, some from China, India, you know, uh, Tibet. So you don't, you look to see the origin of the oil. Okay. And, uh, I forget how many thousands of pounds of leaves to make an ounce of uh, oil. Oh, thousands of pounds, huh? Yes. Oh, just, it's, um, well, unbelievable. That's why it's so expensive. Yes, it is. It's so expensive. Um, you can uh, do your own, by the way. Really? How do you do that? Uh, okay, I'm, I'm going to show you, a, tell you a quick way. It's not the best in the world, and it's okay. But if you go back and look, we didn't have all these fancy machines to go through steaming processes and all this stuff to make your oils. Original man uh, took the leaves of the plant, threw them in water, and boiled it. Like a tea. Like a tea. Took it off and let the oil come to the top and use the oil. 
Oh, okay. You can do that with rose leaves, uh, birch, uh, any of the barks. Uh, rosemary. I make my own rosemary salve, for example. Okay. And, um, just, uh, you know, that's easy to do. And you can buy uh, the uh, little system that will make the essential oil for you. Doesn't make a whole lot, and you know, they're under a hundred bucks. Or you can buy a very expensive one for thousands if you're in. The <laughs> you, Maybe you that's buy one. You know, I believe they're available on Amazon. Uh, and okay. Uh, I've been thinking of buying one, but then I thought, well, I just throw it in a pot and boil it. <laughs> it's pretty easy, and you don't have to have special equipment. Yeah. So anyway, I I do that. Um, I'll use a lot of rosemary, by the way. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. And yeah, what do you cooking, use? That? I'm cooking, oh, everything. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, if you got bad feet, soak your feet in the rosemary oil. And if you don't have rosemary oil, take the plant itself and put it in hot water. Mm -hmm. For what did you say? Your bad feet? Bad feet. Oh, feet okay. Hurt. Mm -hmm. uh, swelling. Uh, Okay. Maybe we should do a a, uh, a session on uh, plant. So some simple plant healing next well, month, next time. Yeah, I mean for growing yourself, or just buying the plant, or or both. Both. I you think, think both. maybe because some uh, people are so sick they can't do it themselves. Yes, that we would make that announcement that, that we could do that. Uh, I think that's important to do. We do a lot of things like that. Okay. Most people have a lot of the products already in their closet for spices. Right. And they don't even and realize they can. But they're also good for healing. Mm -hmm. Like the turmeric, for example. Uh, you should really be or, taking turmeric every day. <laughs> or cinnamon for diabetes. Oh, yeah. Oh, cinnamon is wonderful. Uh, we forget those things. Rosemary is another one. Yeah. You know, so we, we forget they also have healing factors as well as nutritional factors. Right, right. And smell good factors. <laughs> well, we're pretty much, our time yeah. is getting about up, so I wanted to give people contact information. Mm -hmm. You can get a hold of Norm at udemy.com. Norm Wilson is teaches some shaman classes there. And you can get a hold of us at shamanicarts.center. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Norm. Okay. See you next See you week. Next week. Okay. Take care. <laughs>